Hey YouTube, thanks for clicking on my video today. Um, I'm going to cover some upgrades I've done that I hadn't mentioned in the last video. Uh, main upgrades this time are the exhaust system. I'm running two and a half inch uh, pipe all the way from the collectors on the headers all the way out to the back of the tail here. Also upgraded the uh, rear tires with some Mickey Thompson street drag radials. Um, make a big difference. I mean the car just hooks right up now. I don't have any more tire spin. Um, kind of miss that a little bit. It's kind of fun to get the tires to scream and smoke up a little but actually my 0 to 60 foot times are better and more consistent. I attribute that to the tires and the uh, heinous upper and lower control arm links that I installed in the rear in the last video. So, um, so far I've been happy with them. Uh, it did notice the ride changed a little bit. It feels a little stiffer in the back, but not a big deal. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to go fire the car up now. This thing has gotten much louder with the two and a half inch exhaust system. Still has uh, uh, the Thrush uh, glass packs on it. Uh, same size, just a bigger inlet and outlet now. And... Uh, the tone quality, the decibels are much higher now. It's just uh, just really made the car different with the uh, the bigger pipe coming out the back. But uh, I'm okay with it for now. All right, enough chattering. Let's uh, let's get the video going here. I'm gonna start up the car and give it a few revs. It's cold right now. It's a cold start. So here we go. Here is a shot of the Mickey Thompson Street Tire Street Radials, the T Street SS. You probably can't read the lettering, but uh, yeah, they make a big difference, as I was saying. I'm going to try to see if we get a picture back this way. These tires are wide. They're uh, 255s, 50s, 16s. They fit on the stock rims. And... Uh, Really about as wide as I probably want to go on the car anyway. Um, I know I'd have to go with bigger rims if I wanted wider tires, but it fills out the fender well pretty good. Um, I have about two fingers width of clearance between the rear sidewall of the tire and the frame, so I don't think I could go any further in. I'd have to uh, get a different offset and set the rim out towards the uh, fender more. Uh, but for right now, this seems to be doing it, so uh, I'm not going to change anything. Hey guys, alright, I'm going to do a little in the cabin video here. Hopefully I got the camera set up good because I'm on the move doing this. But I uh, just want you to hear what this sounds like in the Lincoln now with the new exhaust system on. Thing is pretty loud when you're on it you just kind of like now I'm coasting along and it's fairly quiet it's not really uh, attract much attention but uh, as soon as you romp on it it uh, it opens up it makes a lot of noise so I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet it's kind of cool but I have a feeling it'll get tiresome quick on it so stomp on it here again in a second well there's a car pulling out here to my left I don't know if it's gonna pull out I don't want to get on it right this minute and he's sitting tight so all right
Yeah, I gotta slow down here. I'm going way, way over the limit now. I get stung by a cop. He's gonna pull me over. I know it for sure. All right, I'm getting to my uh, road here, and I usually do my uh, zero uh, to 60 foot times and uh, some uh, launches. So. 